Tobagonians are extremely proud of their very first black representative, James Bigat. But do you know that there's some mystery around when exactly he died? Hello, my name is Devon Adana and you're likely here because like me, you cannot get enough of Tobago history. And on this episode of This Day in Tobago History, we will be talking about James Alpheus Alexander Bigart, who died, depending on who you ask, 90 years ago on the 11th, 12th, or 13th of August in 1932. If you stick around to the end, I'll show you some family photos of James Bigart that you've likely never seen. Mr. Bigart was born on June 6, 1877 to William Thomas Bigart, who was a carpenter, and Sarah Eliza Bigart, named Murray. Murray, as in the daughter of the prominent black plantation owner, Brutus Murray. Bigart was raised in the sweet Tobago village of Pembroke. During his boyhood, there were no secondary schools in Tobago, which ironically was one of the most significant changes he would make while in office. But he did not allow this to impose limits on what he could achieve. He became a druggist apprentice at the age of 14 and eventually became Tobago's first black pharmacist. According to Susan Craig's book, The Changing Society of Tobago, Bigart, whose initials are JAB, owned the only pharmacy in the Tobago district in 1899. He would eventually buy over the People's Pharmacy in Scarborough from the owner who was one Agnes Blakely. He bought it in 1906, but many would not know that he actually worked at that very pharmacy as Miss Blakely's dispenser. And Bigard would turn the pharmacy into the People's Store from 1908. Bigard's wife, Marie Bigard, named Murray, was also a descendant of Brutus Murray. She died in 1943. They had one daughter, Edwina Murray, who later married Hutchinson. Bigard's family was of middle to upper class and comprised some of Tobago's most upstanding citizens. Bigard's grandfather, Brutus, was a metayer and was one of the few post-emancipation plants were able to purchase plantations in Tobago. Murray Hall in Pembroke is named for him. Bigart's mother, Sarah, died in October 1908 at the age of 58, leaving her husband, William, sons, Esau Bigart, who was head teacher of the Bell Garden EC School, Jab, as well as three other sisters. Not only was Bigart Tobago's first black representative, he was also the nation's first black representative. There were no other black representatives on the Legislative Council anywhere else in Trinidad and Tobago. Prior to Bigart's arrival on the council, it was comprised of either Trinidad's white elite or British expats. And Tobago's representatives were historically white plantation owners. So why is there so much mystery around when this Tobago hero died? So according to his gravestone, he died August 13, 1932. But there have been newspaper sources citing that he died on August 12th. There's also a Wikipedia article that gives his date of death as August 11th. But what do you think? When did James Alpheus Alexander Bigard die? 